What's up everybody, this is RF Mike, and tonight we're going to be talking about the Qualcomm Quick Charging 2.0. It's most recently gotten the spotlight because of the new Motorola Droid Turbo, and in the commercials they show off it as a feature um, where you can plug it in and get 15 for only 15 minutes and get 8 hours of battery life, which is true only under the condition that you have device off and you're charging it only for 15 minutes and then you unplug it and turn it on and your battery life is at a uh, eight hours worth, which could be two thirds or half. It all depends on the size of your battery really. Um, but yeah, we're gonna talk about that and we're gonna compare the standard charger, car charger, to the newer uh, quick chargers, which support the Qualcomm Quick Charging 2.0, which you'll see here on this line right here, Quick Charging 2.0 technology and by Qualcomm or Adaptive Fast Rate Charging. And um, yeah, just to go over this Quick Charging ability has been around for two years now. It dates back to devices from over a couple of years ago all the way to current devices now, but it has to be a Android or, well, so far I know it's Android smartphones. I have it for sure. It has to be an Android smartphone that has a Qualcomm processor in it. And the processors are either, are either the 400 processor, the 600 series processors, or the 800 series processors, which are kind of the newer ones. They were, they started coming out at the end of last year. And then there's like the 801 and the 805, which are from this year. Um, just to mention a few of the devices that are out there. Uh, the ZTE Boost Max, which runs on a Snapdragon 400 processor, that supports Quick Charging 2.0. All these devices I'm about to mention all support Quick Charging 2.0. Uh, Alcatel One Touch devices, the HTC One Max, which runs on the Snapdragon 600, supports it. The HTC Desire 510, which runs on the Snapdragon 410 processor, supports it. The LG G Pad 8.3. So for people that have that tablet, you can use the Quick Charging 2.0 and juice your tablet faster than you could on a standard charger. Uh, the HTC One M7, Google Play Edition, and the M7 that you'd buy from the carriers, those run on the Snapdragon 600 processors. Uh, they support it. The Samsung Galaxy S4 supports Quick Charging 2.0 because that runs on the Snapdragon 600 processor. Um, a lot of uh, Samsung devices from the S4 and up pretty much all support 2.0 charging. Um, also, the Xperia devices, Sony Xperia devices, like the Sony Xperia Z1, that runs on the Snapdragon 800 processor. That supports it. Like I said earlier, the... the um, Gal the Nexus devices, like the Nexus 5, runs on a Snapdragon 800. That also supports it. The LG G Flex. Uh, what else can I name off here? The HTC One M8 from this year. Whether it's the carrier version, the Google Play edition, or the uh, Hardman Carbon edition. Those all run on the Snapdragon 801 processors. They support quick charging. Um, the OnePlus One, which is kind of a rare... Android smartphone to get a hold of. Uh, that runs an 801 processor that supports it. The Galaxy S5 that supports quick charging 2.0 as well. Even though it comes with a USB 3.0 charger, you can still plug in a micro USB um, charger that will charge it just as fast or faster. The LG G3 supports quick charging. Um, so should the LG G2. That should also support the Quick Charging 2.0 because that ran on the Snapdragon 800 series. Um, like I said, the new Moto X supports it as well. That runs on an 801 processor. The Samsung Galaxy Alpha, which is only available on AT&T, that works as well. The HTC Desire i, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, the Nexus 6, the Motorola Droid Turbo, the Note Edge, so yeah, that's just to name off some, but there is a total of 110 Android devices that support this Qualcomm Quick Charging 2.0. Um, 
as for the card chargers that are out there that support the quick charging 2.0 like i said you'll have your carrier branded ones that are made by like this one's made by verizon i'm sure there's one for sprint t-mobile and at&t as well for all the major carriers they've probably all created their own card charger that supports quick charging 2.0 but other ones that are out there that are card chargers is the Inceptio USB card charger, the uh, Pure Ga Gear card charger, the Power Mod card charger. You can find pretty much all those probably on Amazon. Or if you want some other links to them, you can actually go to qualcom.com forward slash products forward slash Snapdragon forward slash Quick Charge. And you can... Read about uh, quick charging, and you can see what chargers are out there that are certified to work with this uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon processors. So just to go over our standard charger, car charger here, you can see this has a USB port for you to plug in another micro USB device or an iOS device or whatever you want. But by having that, you're actually splitting your power that would come from this going to your micro USB. Um, this has the LED as you can see. You can kind of make it out here. There we go. This has the LED light on it so when you're charging at night in the dark when you get in your car and you're not using your dome lights or you're driving and your passenger needs to get to the charger and plug it in, plug in their phone. Um, and this is kind of a touch sensitive LED which was good and bad because I've had points where this LED, the charger I'm not using, would be sitting in the cigarette lighter, but it would just flop down against my uh, paneling in the car and it might actually kick on, you know, so it's kind of awkward here and there and weird. But um, yeah, with this charger though, like I said, you'd be splitting your power because if you're charging one device with this and then somebody plugs in their USB cable and charges another device, you're actually... Uh, probably going to lose power because in here they have to have a point where they're going to split uh, where your main power comes in and it feeds and goes out one and goes out the other. So you're probably not going to charge as fast. And most of these standard chargers are only a, I believe, a 5 volt 2 amp uh, at 10 watt output type of charger. And let's see what the cable says here. So I believe this, yeah, compatible with most micro USB ports. Yeah, it doesn't say it supports any type of rapid charging. So yeah, that's your standard output though. Is a five, it's a five volt, two amp at ten watts output, versus the newer, uh, faster, fast charging technology devices. This actually supports a higher output at nine volts. 1.67 amps at 15 watts and that's with your fast charging so it, it can also do standard charging as well so you can use this on phones as well that um, that just need a standard charge if you're not using a, a uh, say you're using like a Windows phone or something else but it is so it's backwards compatible but as you can see the difference is you don't see that USB port so they just want you to charge just one device at a time with this. And like it says on their tag, uh, compatible with most USB charging ports, includes fast charge technology. So even with the fast tar charge technology, another difference you can see with this, with this car charger is that it is a straight cord car charger. It's not kind of a twisted up uh, stretching cord car charger like the standard one here. The standard one is probably only about two feet, but I'm sure it stretches out to about three, um, which is nice. But then you are putting pressure on your cord. You're putting pressure on your USB port, your micro USB port, especially if you're trying to have somebody charge their phone from the back of the car, like your back seat, and your charger is plugged up and plugged in on the front of the car. Um, versus this one that's by Verizon is a straight cord and it is a four foot cord so four feet of length and you don't have to worry about it stretching so that's kind of nice uh, another feature that's different on this card charger versus a standard Verizon card charger like I said earlier the uh, this the standard one is the um, 
kind of touch sensitive LED light versus on the newer quick charge car charger, it's still the LED light, but it actually has a button to push to turn the light on and off now, which is nice. So, all right, in the next part of the video, I'm going to do a time lapse of this in use. I'm gonna try to kill my HTC One M8, get it down to like 10, maybe 20%, and I will show me turning it off in the video, plugging in the car charger here, and we'll do like a 15 minute countdown and uh, charge it up and see how much juice we get just in 15 minutes using the Qualcomm Quick Charging 2.0.